This is an intro. All right, guys, let's go. Okay, let's not do that. Um, hey, what's up, guys? It's me. Um, today we have the worst Splatfest of all time. Which, I mean, is that terrible? I don't know. It's bad. It's just bad. It's not. It's not as bad as some of the Splatfests that Europe has had. Although seriously, if you haven't checked out checked out some of those, it's, they're kind of bad. <laughs> really terrible. It's pulp versus no pulp, and I don't understand who thought that. This will be a good Slapfest idea, but I guess there's a decent amount of people on Team Pulp. Although I am expecting Team No Pulp to absolutely dominate in attendance. Also, Shifty Station. Let's check that out real quick before we dive right in. Yes, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. This stage is very boring looking. <laughs> now there are ink switches. They take a very long time to fully activate, it seems. And you can go up them, yes. That's good. Match speaking, match making, show me some decent teammates and terrible opponents. That would be really nice. You know what, if you just gave me some people right now, that would also be really nice. Because I'd rather I'd rather have a game to play than just sit here for a while. Thank you, thank you. Quick tip as a sniper, always reset your motion controls before a game starts. And there you go. Specifically on a table. Oh come on. He barely dodged that. All right, I'm bad. Let's try this. Barely missed. Snipers should not have been the best choice for the stage. There we go. Oh boy, rain is gonna be really annoying for the switches. Come on. Oh my god, if I kill that dude, that would have been amazing. What? Why? How are you in their base? Is it possible to reach their base? It was up. Oh, he's up there. How did he do that? Oh. Can you? Oh, you can reach it by that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, snipers are pretty bad here. <laughs> There's no safe camping point, and um, there is a wall behind me. So I can't run. Here we go. That's a nice kill. Uh oh. Okay, this is a problem. We're gonna lose this. Team, I thought you had this area all taken. Just for, it reminds me of salt, uh, salt spray as well. Because there's like certain different sections of the map that uh, if you cover the entire thing, you generally get a lot of points. And hey, doesn't matter. We got, we got your base and we won by seven points. That's nice. Okay, maybe maybe I'm maybe I'm like overestimating the uh, the attendance stacking, but who knows? We'll see. Oh, he's not chasing me. What the heck? Die. Oh, yeah, dead. <laughs> All right, let's go invade. This is a choke point for them. Come on, over this way. Ha! You're dumb. Come on. Shoot, I'm in a bad position. How did I kill that guy? Mmm, he got me. We traded. We're both we're both using spider shots. It's not gonna be. Ooh, Octo Octo uh shot replica. Um that reminds me, Octo Expansion, um I played it of course. I'm using Inkling right now because I prefer Inkling over Octoling, but um, Octo Expansion, in my opinion it was slightly underwhelming, but I know that a lot of people really enjoyed it, so I guess I, I guess I held myself to too high expectations, maybe. After playing Odyssey or something, like I, I, I felt like Nintendo could make some really good single player content. And just looking at the trailers, like all the levels look really cool, really unique, testing different skills, and uh, they have all the bottom areas, so we're kind of dead. Although in all in all seriousness, though, Odyssey was the best uh, single player experience I've ever had in my time playing video games. Octo expansion, the the rewards are pretty cool as well. Um, Octolings are always nice to have, the uh, gear that you get as well, and it's all it's all pretty nice. But I want to do a, uh, um, a league battle with my friends. Uh, we all use uh, Black Octoling Boy with Afro style with very serious clothes and name ourselves Pools Closed. That would be that would be that would be funny. <laughs> all right, let's go let's go kill some people, I guess. Oh my God, playing the stage uh, kind of reminds me of the Test Fire Splatfest. We played 
a couple of days before, a week before the game was released. Can you not do that? I hate it when people do that. It's so stupid uh, for them to do it and it's so annoying for us to clean up. It's not a good way to use your bomb rush, guys. You gonna boo you back? No? Of course you do. Can't wait to see you get nerfed. I'm not letting you get into my... Okay, that, that, that happened. I love those 80 damage directs on such a fast firing weapon. So if I kill anything for like a half a second, I'm dead. And this random dude bombs me out of nowhere. That's real nice. And you finished me off. Oh, for the love of God, I cannot wait for you to get nerfed. Because if you don't get nerfed in the next patch, I, I, I'm just not going to play this game anymore. It's not fun. Ooh. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize I was. I was trying to. I was aiming at him, but apparently I was. Hey, you're dead. Whoa. What the heck? You're jumping down? Oh, we both ran out of ink. That's nice. <laughs> well, he mainly run, ran out of all of his ink. I ran out of the ink required to use bombs, but whatever. All right, base invasion. Let's go. Hey, yes, taste your own medicine. Yes, you're dead. Another really cool thing about Octo Expansion is that you get to find out about the lore of the game, how some more of the lore. Um, we all know how Kelly and Mary are, but now you get to find out what happened with Off the Hook and stuff, and how Octolings are allowed to join battles now, and how and how they're good. Although, if you saw the E3 trailer for the E3 gameplay of Octo Expansion, you understand why the Octolings are good. Now we have some good opponents. I see. Whoa, okay, let's not get sniped, uh, immediately. My sniper that doesn't really know what they're doing. I arrange you, so you shouldn't fight this. You're dumb, so you shouldn't fight this. How is he not dead? Kill him, please. There you go. Well, can I throw bombs over this? No, I doubt it. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> No, 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 no. Make sure it's just bad. Why are you rushing me, you idiot? You idiot! <laughs> oh, you baffle me. You have so much more range than I do, and you're not using it properly. And I got sniped. I wish to use my splash down there. I wanted to, but I didn't. We do need some people to take out the other areas and defend. They have ours. They have our spawn now, so I'm gonna quickly take care of that. Oh God! Oh no! We all died. Ah, oh, that's rip. Because we're in the last 30 seconds, and this is where Turf War is determined. So it's gonna make a miracle comeback because Turf War is determined within the last second. Ooh, I killed them. Go in. Go in, team. Go in, team. Go in. Take it all. Take it all. Take it all. Nah, no, we can't. You couldn't even get us out of the danger zone. Come on, guys. Step it up. Hey. Matchmaking system, could you please give me okay, never mind, you aren't. <sighs> hey, remember in Splatfest and Splatoon 1 when it took a lot longer to get to King or Queen rank than it does in this game. Oh, 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 oh. Wondering when this would begin to happen. But it's now happening, so. No, sir. Oh shit, I forgot how much how, how big of an incog this thing is. <laughs> okay, those are useless. Too bad that they that these aren't as effective as splat bombs at getting somebody in that scenario. Why would you die to an arrow spray at close range when you when you're aiming at please? Ah, oh, I don't understand why people die to arrow sprays at all. Can we not have this dude take over our entire base? Just kill him already. I, I believe in your ability to kill him. There you go. Nice job. Oh, dang. Yeah, he's, he's predicting me. <laughs> he almost got me there. <laughs> you are a pest. A complete pest that needs to be eliminated. Hi there, sir. 
How are you killing me from that range? Aerospray does not have that much range. How long was your ink check? Okay, fine. I deserve that. But I but I didn't see uh, the Octoshot have their special in too long, so I was like, ah, he's got to be almost done with his ink jet. Nice try. No. Don't use bombers like that, sir. Oof. Nice triple there. I'll shoot you out of the sky, sir. And then he'll get steamrolled. <laughs> this guy is just like going for the other dude. He's like, shoots me and he's just like, whoop, gonna kill you. <laughs> Look, I know you're trying to go natural, but you don't have to wear a freaking orange on your head. Look at this dude. <laughs> is that the pin that you get? Is that the pin that he's wearing? Yeah, it is. <laughs> he can barely even see it. <laughs> it's dumb. Oh, so screw how you get that pin. I hate that. I hated that so much. Ah, it's recording. Oh, God. Oh, that's a really high meter. Let's move that away from my face. Um, okay. It's the next day, and I really did not enjoy this breakfast at all, but whatever. Let's, let's, let's see the results. Come on. Just, 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 let's, let's, we all know. We all know that's going to be 75, 25% favor. Whatever, that, 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 that works. It's a, it's a 2 to 3, so. No, it's a, it's a 1 to 2. It's 1 to 2, sorry. And we all know what happens here because this is how this game works, and bam, pull puts both. I, I don't understand how this happens every single time. Every single time, it's insane how many Swapfests we've had in both Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2, where the less popular team is the winner. Also, screw having pulp in your orange juice, it sucks. 21. Oh boy. I, I don't know what to think about that Splatfest, honestly. It, it was just like, of this age group, who, like, who would drink, who drinks pulp of this age group? Like, if, it, if it's, if, it, if you're thinking about old people, pulp, the team pulp would be much more popular. If we're thinking about middle-aged people, it would probably be more equal. And what's, and what's worse is that th there there are so many uh, other potential um, ideas for this flat best. Like, there could be... I remember uh, one of my friends suggested apple juice versus orange juice, which, been, which would have been actually really nice, because I have no idea which team would be more popular. I personally would be team apple juice. Because, like, I, I, I can't drink too much orange juice. It's just, it's just too much. I actually have this really weird method where I drink orange juice, I just grab a, a, a small teaspoon and I just like slurp it out of, I just like <laughs> grab it out of the out of the glass of orange juice and I just slurp it into my mouth and it's just, it's slow and it, and it, and it gives me the orange juice in doses that doesn't make my body want to explode. Shitty station, overwhelming. I mean, it was cool to see um, a vertically mirrored stage, uh, which we haven't seen since Platoon 1 of course. Um, I'm still hoping that Saltsbury Rig comes back. Just kidding, it's probably not. Like, the map was ter is terribly designed, Saltsbury Rig. But whatever, it's fine. Let's go into the hat shop, because why not? And, um... Uh, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, I will... I, I, I don't... I, I don't... Don't hit that like button, because I don't want to be a sellout, dude. Um, if, if you enjoyed the video, you enjoyed the video, you're welcome. Um, don't hit that subscribe button, because I'm not a sellout. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time.